Привіт всім! Hi everybody! Today we are going to talk about old Ukrainian temples. Nowadays the world is getting more open and Ukrainians travel around the world more. Last year my sister was in Egypt. One Arab guide pointing to the mosque said, Here are our temples. And where are your temples? The sister googled and showed him orthodox churches from Ukraine. The guide, an Egyptian, was intelligent, for he had studied in Moscow. And he said, but no, these are not Ukrainian temples. These temples are Greek. And he was right. Mosques are Arab temples. And orthodox churches are the creations of Greek culture. Greek Christian culture. So, where are our temples? Where are the Ukrainian temples? And now, attention! Ukraine is a land of 100,000 ancient temples. These temples are called Kurhans, popularly Mohili. They are older than the oldest Egyptian pyramids. For the first time, mounds began to be constructed on mass here, in Ukraine, on the banks of the Dnipro river, 5,300 to 4,600 years ago. Archaeologists name the people who made these first mounds Yamna culture people. Linguists believe that the Yamna people were the first ones to speak the Indo-European language. Today, almost half of the world's people speak Indo-European languages. That is, the heroes and ancestors of different peoples are buried in the Ukrainian mounds. Bharata Indian, Iranian, English, Spanish, Greek, German, of course, Ukrainian ancestors. One can object my statement. But they are not the temples, they are the graves where some people have been buried. Yes, Ukrainian mounds, our Mohili, had many functions. They were observatories, they were graves, they were temples. The currents have functioned the way we do not yet grasp completely. How can we talk about mounds in Ukraine today and not mention the movement initiated by Gryander Tarnovsky? The movement is called Guardians of the Currents. The Ukrainian law is excellent. It prescribes how to protect our archaeological objects, historical objects. The mounds are very protected by the law, but the law doesn't work. And citizens volunteer to protect the Ukrainian cultural heritage. Every citizen in Ukraine can become a public inspector for the protection of the mound. Just say, this is my mound, I guard it. I protect it. Some time ago, Mr. Griander invited me to join the cohort of Mount Guardians. I said, I will join when I publish my book. The book in particular describes how important the currents are for the history of Ukraine and for the history of mankind. With this video, with the book, I am publicly joining the Guardians of the Mounds movement. I am a protector of the Mohila Mount group near the village of Hayivka, Kropivnitsky district in the center of Ukraine. We continue our story about the ancient temples of Ukraine, Kehans or Mohili. One can object my statement. Ha, but they are not the temples, they are the graves where some people have been buried. The Japanese peacemaker Junsei Terasawa a Buddhist claims that the mounds have become the prototype of the sacred architecture of Buddhists, Christians and Muslims. Of course, Junsei Terasawa says, neither Muslims nor Christians acknowledge this. Just look at the first stupas. They are the mounds.
уже скифы. The Scythians made a round room and a stone entrance in the Kohan. Wasn't it a temple? In one of the previous videos, I said that the main idea of the Saka's outlook was that they had come from another planet, Sakadvipa, and the main task on Earth was to free souls from oblivion, from amnesia, and to return to their home planet, where they lived on the status of gods. So, this idea was encrypted or depicted in several metaphors. One of the metaphors of the planet Saka was the mount. The mount itself conveyed the idea of the planet, and the stone Stille and Kromlik on the mount expressed the idea of the planet's satellites. Another metaphor that conveyed the idea of the planet Saka was the deer or the horse. The body of the deer or the horse is the planet itself, and the animal's horns are the satellites of the planet. Another metaphor for the planet Saka was the tree of life. The roots of the world hill was the planet itself, and the fruits on the branches of the tree were the satellites of the planet. The metaphor the horned horse is the planet occurs in the Vedic literature. The silver season vase from the Kohan of Chortum League has a wonderful illustration to the song of the horned horse the planet from Rig Veda. Thus, the Scythian deer antlers, the tree of life, the stele with the cromlick on the mount are metaphors and symbols of the Saka planet. The orthodox cross reveals just the same metaphor. In the light of the new viewpoint, the Orthodox Church can be interpreted as a variant of the old Kurhans. So, dear Ukrainians, if you are asked where are your temples, point to the Kurhans and say hard, here are the originals, our old originals, from which the sacred architecture of many religions originates. And there are other, newer temples. This is a Middle Eastern, Greek interpretation of our ancient sacred architecture, our old Kehans. Isn't it simple? Let's become better. I hope you've got to know something new today. Please subscribe to the channel, like, and share the video. Write your opinions in the comments below. The Taxakatak channel is on to enjoy you. This video is based on the book Los Angeles, the guidelines for Ukrainian identity. The first edition has already been sold. We prepare the second edition. If you are interested, order in advance. And you'll have the book. Be happy.